Fed may be a little out of touch with the inflation dynamic. I, I don't. I am not. Well, that's my point. But by, by, by asking you whether he's out of their, touch, it is is the Fed I, out I'm of touch. I'm not confident in their understanding of what's happening in the economy right now. Really? I, I'm just not. Um, that's, a that's a huge point. statement for somebody like you to make. I, I I feel like there's stuff going on in the economy that has defied prior analogs. And that we're not incorporating, like, like, I'm in the middle of this big study right now, Scott, that's looking at industries that are underemployed and industries that are overemployed. The, I, I'll just give you the number here. We, we're, we're, we're still working on this data here. But right now, there are 400,000 nurses that, sh that are not, the number of nurses in the country at 3, point, at 3 million is 3.4 million, it's, it's 400,000 below where it should be. We need 400,000 more workers just to get back to the pre-pandemic trend. There are all kinds of shifts that need to go around. I am not sure, I do not buy this idea that the labor market is the source of this inflation problem the Fed believes it is. That's okay, so it goes back, hold on, hang on, hang yeah. on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll, I'll get you right there. That and goes right back to, to the- I'm this thing, but me, me and my producer, Betsy Springer, are going through every single major job category, and we're looking at this what everybody calls the great resignation is really this great reshuffle. Doesn't this because, go right to your question to yeah, Powell at the news conference, I, doesn't I, it? I, 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 am, I do not remain, I am not confident this morning that at any, and have not been confident that the Fed really understands this inflation dynamic that is in place right now. We've lost workers, we've lost uh, retirees, we have a, a hole in terms of the legal immigrants led into this country. We are in need of finding a new equilibrium level. On top of that, there has been an enormous productivity surge in this country that nobody has taken note of. We are at the productivity level, if you take the index, that we should be at if we had normal pre-pandemic growth in 2026. We fired a lot of, or got rid of a lot of unproductive or less productive workers, and we're, we're at this place right now, Scott, that nobody, this untold or unheralded productivity story yeah. is disinflationary. I'm just not sure the Fed is incorporating so, that. So your, your point is well taken. And uh, two years ago, Charlie Munger said, if you're not confused, then you have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> so there are a lot of once-in-a-lifetime things taking place all at once. Exactly. And there's this secular demographic thing that overlays Huge. the whole thing. And right. that's why the labor for force participation rate, et cetera, is what it is. That's why people aren't coming back, no matter how high the wages are. A lot of things are broken, and, and we acknowledge that. Um, but... The Fed seems to be more focused uh, on wages than the number of people employed. And here's why I think that's the right strategy. We actually got wage growth finally cooling off. It's not in decline. It's just cooling off. And the reason that's important is if we're just counting how many people got jobs, understand the dynamic at play. Amazon, Microsoft, Google, they get rid of people who are making three to $600,000 a year. Those each count as one job. And then all of a sudden, we see all this hiring in warehouses. Those count as one job, but those people are making $15 an hour. It's not all the same thing. We happen to have job losses, finally. I don't mean that like, yay. I mean that like that's what the Fed is looking for. We finally have that amongst the employers paying the most amount of money to the people that they're laying off. And those people are being replaced by lower income workers it's not all one thing, and I sure. think because of that, if we focus on wages, the Fed is getting its way in the labor but market. Here's the it's problem. just not on the okay. surface. Here's the problem. Steve Weiss, if 